Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are here at the Image for Lives talent show, and we had a remarkable show tonight. We had a lot of great talent. Episode 37, Image TV podcast. Catch it on YouTube. We had talent from Kansas City, Missouri. We had talent from Des Moines, Iowa right here and from all over the country. And these guys did a great job. Uh, it was great opportunity. It was a great platform. And it was just a wonderful blessing for everybody. I think that it was a safe environment. It was healthy for the kids. And I, I, I feel that uh, the Image for Lives program uh, is on the rise and we will continue to keep doing great work in the community. We're in our, we're in our Stop the Violence season. So uh, we had a lot of great guest speakers and Damon Calloway, AKA Smiley. He did a great job. He talked about uh, his transformation from prison uh, to society and what he's doing now and what he's established and what he's accomplished. And so we want to continue to keep positive change flowing in our community as we continue this journey in our movement. IMAGE stands for Inmate Movement Against Gang Evolution. And we are on the rise. Thank you. Never in my life did I think I would ever make a song like that. <laughs> well, like I said, you can follow me at Cold Saint Official on Instagram, Cold Saint on Facebook, ColdSaint.com. I got one more. Y'all, y'all cool if I do one more? Yeah. All right. So here's the deal. All right, I was writing this song, and this song is called Cornbread. Weird name. Bear with me. But uh, basically, if anybody else noticed that Iowa doesn't have a rap sound, like. You can find dope rappers here, all right? And, but it's like Atlanta, it's like Cali, it's like Chicago. There is no Iowa sound. This is that Iowa sound, but I'm gonna need some help from my cornbread. You get up here, man. <laughs> hello, 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 no, this one. We already have a mic, good. DJ, spin that record. When I say corn, y'all say bread, corn, bread, corn, bread. Entre Luchet, you can follow me at entreluchet.com. 
My name is Cold Saint. You can check me out at coldsaint.com. Also, check us out July 23rd at Riverview Park for the Cornbread Festival. It's gonna be dope. And check your boy out May 25th at Lefty's Live Music. Come get it. Peace. Yeah, give it up, give it up. Cold Saint, and again, Atre Lachey. Give it up for those two. Now, make sure follow everybody. All right? Because, uh, I got some good news. Y'all hear some good news? Yeah. Show me. Uh, uh, last time I was here, it was last year, uh, I was trying to. <laughs> I was trying to get this thing called Smoking Tires Not Your Homies done in my city for the last four years, three years, yeah. And we finally got it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to throw this in here as a spin to these things. Uh, the first, second, third place winners, I have a show coming up July 16th. So then I help y'all get up there and pay for your hotel room just like Bob did for me up here. So we're going to get that cracking. So it's called Smoking Tires Not Your Homies. You can Google it. You can... YouTube it, you can Facebook it, and the whole thing is what we're trying to do is bring the community together with the police and, and, and to where the police can come up, hang out with the community instead of police the community, you know what I mean? So we can get these kids to want to be the police because the kids see the police in such a negative way and we cannot complain about racist police and stuff like that if we're not encouraging our black kids to be the police to police our neighborhoods. So we're going to try to change that stigma on being bad as being police and being good. Because these kids are carrying guns anyway, so your might as well get a 401k. All right. <laughs> That's true. Retirement plan. <laughs> that Roth IRA. Might as well get a 401k. So who we got next? Coming up next, we have Neek Dog FK. Neek Dog, come on up. Neek Dog. Neek Dog FK. What's up, everybody? Yes, yes. Hey, I still want to hey, give out a shout out to my, my bros, Cole Saint, Andre. Give it up for them. So, I go by Neek Dog FK. If you don't know what FK means, it means Flow King. So, you know, you know, I'm really like versatile, but I'm going to turn it up for y'all. So, play it. That's you, so Aggie. Going up. Going up. Yeah. Ain't they sure that she crazy? Going off on the train, back to back like a marathon. Thinking I got wishes to make like a fairy guy. I can never trust no bitch and just carry on. Think I love you, make it back and just pour it off. Pop a perky, sip the hand, he's on it now. No constant, don't come to that same sign about you just going down. No matter games, make it away myself. Don't you know, just let me the cause of hell, yeah. Going off. On that matter level, how I'm feeling now. Don't forget, in fact, I'm calling now. I know you like my style, that's why you call it now. I know one, two, I can't like you love myself. Got the special people that to put it out. Put the heart pressure, want some to jelly now. I got your issues, you smoke my body now. I don't, cause I'm going off. Don't press my laser, acting hard. Like they're making the danger to me Your baby, is not what you're doing Listen to me right now Now or later, I'm rocking designer niggas Ain't no data, but you know what? But I'm still going off Yeah Going off Going off Going off On the train, back to back Like a marathon Thinking I got wishes to make Like a fairy guy I can never trust and just carry on. Think I love you. Break the fact that you're just going going on. Pop a perky, slip it, hit me, zone it out. No conversation. Don't put you on the same side, but you're just going it down. Don't play games, make it a whip myself. Don't need your help, just playing the cards of a scale. Yeah, going, going on. What's going on, both of you, y'all? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Big dog, FK, blow killer. Give him some more love. <laughs> I know he like to walk. I know that. <laughs> How many steps you get in on that? You got your Apple Watch phone so you can count your steps. And he walked all the way around. I, I yeah, looked yeah. down at my phone. I looked up. He back there. <laughs> he did it a couple times. <laughs> I know he can't sing a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, I know he can rap. We know he can rap. But that singing? No, he should have background singing. <laughs> <laughs> 
I know, we know that, you know. <laughs> you know we have a good time. It's all good. It's all good. It's, all good. it's a talent show, you know what I mean? That's right, all this talent from right here in Central Iowa, impressive so far. We're going to keep it going? Yes, sir. Young Twan, step no, on up. Young Twan, come on, Young Twan. Come on, Young Twan. Young Twan. Once you get to be 30 years old, you got to change that young to old or middle-aged Twan. <laughs> Yo, how y'all doing today, man? All right, before I even start, y'all think y'all could dim these lights for me real quick? Y'all can't dim these, man. No, there's no light, man. I think they can just cut them off. Shoot, <laughs> you might as well do that. I don't know about that one. Let me go be seen. All right, shoot, but hey, before I do this, can y'all do me a favor and stand up real quick? And close your eyes. Uh, stand up. <laughs> All right, this song right now I'm about to do. I call it June's World. It's about my older brother. He passed away over a year ago. So everything I do for him, all the music I make is for my older brother. So DJ spin that. You want to know what I know? This is about all the artists here tonight. 
I noticed that you guys all have a message in your music, and I want to say thank you for all of that. Because coming from where I come from, uh, at least 40 people would have got shot in the first rap song. So thank you for taking the violence out of the music today. I can yeah, yeah. actually listen to it. You know what I mean? For real. Because see, if we keep pushing out the positive music to the ears of the youngsters, then they can have a positive influence. When you just hear a bunch of nonsense, you get to believe in it. You know what I mean? All the shooting and uh, smoking and shooting up and all that and snorting, then all these kids turn into junkies. You know what I mean? So thank you for you know not having all that in the music, man. Everybody who hit the stage so far, man. Very deep message. Give you that. Very deep. And as Dan said earlier, don't forget to check out the merchandise table for t-shirts for this year. There's also cookies for sale, so if you're hungry, get out there as well. We're going to keep things rolling. We got Diamonds coming up to the stage now. Diamonds. Uh -oh. Come on, Diamonds. Don't be shy. Patience. Come on, ladies. Hold up. Hold up. We got a really, really good demo today. Now, everybody get on yes. your feet. Come on, now. This is y'all here. Yeah. Show the support. Y'all here? Y'all here? It looks like they about to tear the house down, so they gonna need a little stand up, you know what I mean? Do y'all thing, girls, do y'all thing. that hustled in the streets back in the 80s and 90s. If you hustled in the streets, right? If you made money in the streets, made money in your community. As a grown man, you owe these kids. As a grown man, you owe them. People say, why is these kids acting all crazy? Why are they acting like they lost their mind? Well, it's real simple. If you sold drugs to their parents, these are the kids that grew up. These are the kids that grow up. So they're going through some things, right? They're grown adults, and they was raised by people that was on drugs. So now they don't respect nobody. So now, as a grown man, 
you can change things, man. Uh -huh. Grab a young one. If you know how to uh, do carpentry, grab a couple of them. 15 on down, man, because we got to grab them. Because them is your next shooters. I don't know about child problems, about shootings and murders, but I know where I'm from. <clears throat> they kill it every day. They're younger and younger. they 15, they 16, they 13, they 22, they 23. And so I try to stand up. And one, one thing I decided to do was stop complaining about trying to get politicians to help me stop the murders. And I started, and I, I, <clears throat> I decided to run for city councilman in the 5th district. In the 5th district in my neighborhood, it's a lot of murders. And the, the city councilmen, they don't care because they don't live in the neighborhood. So we got a lot of people in Kansas City that's making decisions for people in the neighborhood that don't live in the neighborhood. You won't catch them at your local family dollar. You won't, let, you won't catch them at your local grocery store. So when you got people running your, your community that knows nothing about your community, you'll keep on getting things that's going on. So if you a man, stand up, man. Grab these kids, man. Teach them something. There you go, man.
like, maybe I'm listening to the wrong song. <laughs> but I was waiting for it. Now, I would love to hear you sing that song, young lady. No, 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 no way! <laughs> ain't you! Ain't you! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna let him go. I'm gonna move this out the way. Dads, keep it going. Oh, what? Y'all gonna let me talk? All right. <laughs> hey, uh, how many of y'all uh, got junk cars in your driveway? Yeah. Me, <laughs> <laughs> How many of y'all buy used cars? So everybody here buy new cars? Everybody everybody got new cars. Well see, I, I, I used to sell used cars and I was good at it too. You know what I mean? My motto was, if the motor ain't blowing up, the train ain't slipping, don't bring it back tripping. All cars are sold as is. <laughs> and I had to quit selling used cars. <laughs> I sold drugs from 16 to 35, and I've never seen nobody pull a pistol on me until I sold an $800 car. <laughs> it's nothing more sillier than seeing somebody with their pants pulled all the way down here, jumping up and down, talking about, you ain't gonna beat me up my money. And I was like, you was already beat. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's $800. And then these young girls, they come, they don't know how to count money. Y'all need to teach y'all daughters how to count money. Young lady called me and asked me, did I have any cars for $1,000? And I was like, $1,000. <laughs> and I said, well, $1,000? She said, no, nah, I got $1,000. And I was like, man, you got $10,000? She said, no, I got $1,000. <laughs> and I said, count it for me. <laughs> She went one, two, three, four, five, and I couldn't wait till she got the nine. You know what I mean? And then she said, ten hundred dollars. And I said, No, young lady, I only have cars for a rat, a band, and a thousand. <laughs> There's this next movie to the funny bone, so check out his engagement here pretty soon. <laughs> In the meantime, we want JD Man to come up here. JD Man, come on up here. Let's go, JD. Let's go, JD. Well, he been waiting patiently. He been ironing his pants and shining his shoes. The boy got a haircut for this one. Yeah, dude. Uh, so, like he said, my name is JD, man. And um, I don't think I want a uh, introduction. I think I just want the DJ to spin it. All right, then. Uh, the first song. Uh, not rumors. Uh, say it down wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Long time ago, 
Thought his mom was gonna run up here with an inhaler. You got asthma? No. No? It'd have been cool if he, you know, if he had an inhaler. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna keep it going. Keep it going. Gusto Big Bag, come on up here. Gusto Big Bag, come on up to the stage. Gusto's here. Gusto. Gusto from CB4 is here. <laughs> Gusto. Gusto G from CB4 is here, man. Come on, man. Up next, we're gonna have somebody give a little testimony while we get everything working out, have a little uh, intermission so they can get King D's music worked out. Maybe we can go find Gusto, I don't know where he went. But uh, you coming up for testimony, Bobby? Yes, sir. All right, we're gonna take a little break. Bobby's gonna give testimony. Hopefully King D's music will get worked out and Gusto will get over that stage, Frank. Hold up, show your love for the man that put That's all right. y'all bucks in the seat. So, again, going back to the IMAGE program, IMAGE for Lives, and what it stands for. Inmate Movement Against Gang Evolution. Okay, so, the IMAGE program was built on the biblical principles, and we like to highlight those coming out of prison. We work with guys coming out of prison, and we like to highlight them, help them to improve and to find support and succeed in society so that they'll be successful. And coming up is a man by the name of David Calloway, AKA Smiley. Let's give him a big round of applause. This guy's been doing great things in the community. He's been working. He's been working hard. Uh, he was on the Image TV podcast and it caught a lot of attention. This guy is a prime example of why we give second chances. So Smiley, first of all, can you tell the audience a little bit about your story? Absolutely. Dad's kind of touched on it earlier, which is very ironic. I was one of them young kids out here in the 80s and 90s selling drugs, gang banging, shooting, and those activities eventually led me to catch a murder case at 17. And I spent the next 23 years of my life in prison with two life sentences, never expecting a chance to come home. But fortunately, with a lot of prayer and hope and the grace of God, the United States Supreme Court said that it was unlawful to sentence a child to prison for the rest of their life. And it gave me a second chance. Can you tell the audience a little bit about what you've been doing since you've been out and uh, some of the different things that you've learned to find success in? Well, the main thing I've been doing since I've been out is handling my business. I've been going to work, holding down a household by myself, doing all the little things people take for granted, but they're not easy to do after doing 23 years in prison with no one to guide you, to help you. You just gotta figure it out, stay focused, look to your resources, the people that are there to help you, you gotta use those people. Another thing I've been really trying to do though is give back, because I wouldn't be here, none of us would be here without somebody else helping us at some point in our life. And I feel like someone that was in the streets like I was, it's my duty to talk to these kids, to let them know that these things they believe in, these things they follow in are false. Right. They're images, they're illusions. Right. These are all things we buy into as young kids and we portray them as adults and pass them on to the next generation. But we gotta stop that because, you know, we in a moment right now where we woke, we're aware. Right. We don't have no more excuses. We don't have no reasons to reason why we can't make it. Black lives matter, but they gotta matter to us. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Now, excuse me, so David, tell us a little bit about uh, what sent you to prison and the person that you used to be versus the person that you are today and the transformation and why. And then kind of talk about the gangs and uh, why it's important to understand 
uh, how silly and stupid uh, street violence, gangs, gang violence is, and, and tell them a little bit about what you've learned and what you've been through. Well, obviously, as a, a youth, 13, 14 years old, running with a gang, just basically a group of my homeboys that I grew up with, you know, we learn to adopt these false ideologies about who your enemy is. We out here You hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we adopt, we adopt these false principles and ideologies about who our enemies are, what we're supposed to be, when in reality, we're just carrying on the same attacks that were brought against us amongst ourselves. We took someone else's tactics and changed them to hurt ourselves. One of the things I went to prison for was murder selling drugs, terrorism, kidnapping. These are a list of all the charges that I had. And unfortunately, as a youth, I bought into those ideologies. I thought those things really mattered. I thought that's what it meant to be real. I thought that what it meant to be solid, to have my homies back, to be willing to die for them, when in reality, I wasn't ready to live for myself. And so many of these kids, they believe the ideologies of another man, but they won't listen to their parents. But they go to prison and let another grown man tell them what to do. They go to prison and let a guard tell them what to do. But they won't be disrespected out here, but they'll go there and be disrespected all day. These are all these falsehoods that we believe in when we're young. And the sad part is we got young men in their 20s passing these same falsehoods to their children. Thinking it's cool. Thinking, you know, I see kids every day, five, six years old, throwing up gang signs and stuff. They don't know nothing about no gangs. Right. They're being taught that by somebody that's supposed to love them. Right. These are all the things we got to do better as people, as individuals, brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, people in the community. You know, I grew up in the day where the village did raise a child. I got my butt whooped down the street all the way till I got home and got it again, you know what I mean? But I know we live in a different world these days, but at the same time, that same principle still should apply because it don't matter if that's your child or not. That kid right there could take your child's life. Right. That kid there could take your life. So it's important when you see someone misguided that you tell them what's right and what's wrong, not because you're trying to be their parent, but because they're a human being and you see that they're a straight. You gotta get them back on the right path, to the right, right place with the right people. And it's sad to say that so many of us parents out here, we just as lost as our kids. Oh, yeah. right. Hey, Bobby, I got a question for him. I gotta jump in there really quick. You mentioned that um, you didn't think you'd ever see the outside. What led to your change since you didn't expect to get out again? And do you think you'd still be alive had you not gone to prison when you were 17? What changed me was, I believe, just growing up naturally. You know, I went to jail at 17. I was a kid, lost, didn't know nothing, thought I knew everything, but didn't know, I didn't know anything. I didn't even know who I was. But during that process of maturity, I eventually grew into my own manhood, which I started to think for myself. You know, Einstein had a saying that great minds think alike, right. but I disagree, great minds think for yourself because it's your life. You're the only one that's gonna live with the, the consequences as well as the awards. But what made me want to change is I wanted a chance to make my parents proud at some point. You know, they grew up with so much disappointment, so much shame that I brought in my family's day that I felt anyways, even though they loved me unconditionally, but I still had that guilt in my heart. But changing to me just came naturally like when you're growing up you ain't supposed to be doing the same thing at 30 as you are at 17. that's why it's crazy to me to see some of these 30 40 year old men out here acting like they're teenagers dressing like they're teenagers doing all this the same things they were doing 20 30 years ago with no progress and wonder why their life is the way it is because they're doing the same thing and they keep getting the same results because there's no progress there but what made 
we have a chance to come home was the United States Supreme Court ruled that it was unconstitutional to give a, a child a life sentence. The United States was the only country in the world sentencing kids to death and life. And we're supposed to be the leaders of the world, but our morale and our justice system lacks that leadership. Right. And do I think I'd be alive today if I wouldn't have went to prison? Absolutely not. Because I know for a fact in that life, death in prison is the only thing that I promised. That's right. And, and that's what the image program is all about. Uh, it's, it's guys like this, it's making a change in our community. And we have to continue to keep supporting these people. You know, the justice system is real quick to lock you up, throw you in prison, but they don't realize that these people that they're putting in prison are gonna get out and be your neighbors someday. And uh, we have to find a way to, to rehabilitate, to support. I mean, there's a lot of trauma that comes with uh, incarceration. You know, there's a lot of people in the state of Iowa uh, they go to prison for driving under suspension, uh, you know, OWI, different, different little stuff that's, that's real, real petty in a lot of different ways, and it brings forth a lot of trauma uh, on them, or, you know, a lot of injustice, a lot of charges being stacked up and trumped up, a lot of racism uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in the court system, there's just a, a whole lot of junk that we're trying to deal with, so uh, anytime we see somebody like Mr. Callaway that's doing good, we always want to continue to keep supporting. So thank you very much, and let's continue on with the time. So, thank you. Give a round of applause. Now this is better. <laughs> well look, show him some love. That's right, give some love. <laughs> and, I'm, and, and I'm here, right? Showing you, you can stop. A lot of yep. people don't, you can't, if you are, you can quit before you get caught. If you smoke a cigarette, you can stop smoking before you get cancer. You can stop before anything tragic happens, man. So you can always make a change through prayer. And think about what he said. He did not expect to be able to walk, the, walk free again. So he had no reason to change while he was in prison. So something changed in him, and he's showing it, and, and that's important. Another thing he touched on is, you know, getting your butt whipped when you're younger. I got went through all that, but the most devastating thing my parents ever did to me was told me how they were disappointed in me after I got in trouble. I could take a whooping, I could take a beating, all that stuff, but when they say they're disappointed in you, that's something that really sticks with you a long time. You? Really? Oh, I got in trouble now. No, 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 that's serious. <laughs> <laughs> I got an A minus instead of an A, so you know, that stuff kind of happens. <laughs> Y'all ready? Y'all ready to get this thing cooking? Yeah. All right, King T, come on up here, straight from Kansas City. Woo! All the way from down the street. <laughs> All right, so we have some technical difficulties. <laughs>
Acting this, I don't know if I'm standing up Getting bold with your tongue in this upper car I don't go by the way that he coming up I can count all this money, I summoned up When I pull up, he's rubbing up I ain't talking back, right, I'm a castaway You can't never see me go my last away I'm the king, I'm the king, just like Bombay If that baby from running, it's double pay I ain't got the song, if I get eagle, I'm ready for Bombay Crazy, I'm getting free, he's good, I don't tell me the mountain Drive like Beyonce, I'm getting it on the mountain Drive like Beyonce, I'm getting it on the mountain Second time he did the hook, the whole crowd knew it, knew it you know what I mean? So yeah. when you no keep doubt. doing things like that, man, never give up. If you don't understand, you have to never give up. Don't right. never let nobody tell you that your dream can't come true because right. you are in control of your own destiny. Right. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't do. Right. If they right. tell you what you can't do, tell, show them what you can do, all right? Yeah, right. All right, Gusto, big bag, uh -oh, come on up. Uh oh, uh -oh Gusto, hey, G. Hey, hey, I heard he was ready. CB4 in the house, yeah. Gusto, G. <laughs> I thought he was ready. Now you thought he was ready. 
You want me to do a song? Why? Why you come? Can I do a song? Yeah. Uh, I'll go. I'll go. I'll steal your shine. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll steal your shine, man. You know what I mean? I'll go. I'll do something. I'll go poco for y'all. You know what I mean? If your music mess up, gotta go acapulco. Gusto G and CB4 are coming to the stage. <laughs> you got the Junior Mafia coming up here. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> How y'all doing today? Show Gusto! How y'all doing today? Y'all see the little kid out there. Y'all good? Y'all kids ain't even active. Y'all supposed to be the liveest ones in here. Don't y'all be doing a little TikTok dance or something? Oh, yeah. Oh, we doing all that? You be doing that? I know that's right. Hold on, my phone ringing. Oh, the wires ringing. Appreciate you, appreciate you. No, no, you're not gonna ask. Oh, the wires. No, you're not Ready? Look at this! I am Gusto the Don. Listen, I come to form a show for y'all. For real. Listen to me. Why you wanna fight with me? Why you wanna fight right now? If you wanna leave, tell buddy, meet you right outside. Don't think I'm stupid, no, we tell it lies. Don't need no female body, you no, know we cut your ties. I know so many female vibes in there, they get them back. I feel so many people, and we fell off track. I know so many females wish you we can get it back. And that's the show it must go on. We can leave with that. She said you hate me. How was your name? And every time I came around, I killed the energy. But yet your feeling on my smile, it made it to you. And I'm the end of my town. I just need a friend. Thank you. 
Show us some love, come on now. You can't go. show encouragement and happiness and cheer. We do a little thing called a chi hu. Alright. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> I want y'all to repeat after me. Chi hu! Okay, I like the spirit. I feel your mana. Okay. One more time. Chi telling you to do so, so I thought I'd try. <laughs> but I like your mana, I like your spirit. I love it. So my name is Terry Underhill from Norwalk, like good saint, represent absolutely. And um, this first song I'm gonna sing is an original called Amy and Blake. It's about toxic relationships and horrible bad things like that. Inspired by Amy Whitehouse and her relationship with her ex-husband, which if you know how that went down, it did not go down good. <laughs> I don't think I hear my ukulele, but if not, you'll just hear my voice. I had to drown, hoping go still thinking of me. I just for your name, and you can run back. I just recently turned 22 on Wednesday. And I miss Happy birthday! Oh, thank you. Thank you. 
But I miss, I miss being a kid. I miss the freedom of it, the imagination of it. And to all, all you young ones in the front row that are not even listening to me right now, <laughs> hold on to your childhood. Hold on to that freedom, your imagination. Just hold on to it, because one day, you never know. Don't let go. Just don't let go of it. So if you could play with your dreams for me, thank you. Dress like a lady, always get treated like a lady. Dress like trash, you will drag rodents, bums, people who can't help you pay your bills. Come on, say that. Thank you. <laughs> so respect yourself, young ladies. Don't sell yourself cheap, you know what I mean? Because it's just, 
Everybody's getting caught up on this Instagram stuff, and these Instagram models ain't what it's all about. They broke. If you look in the background, they don't even have a cloth mattress. So, you know, <laughs> so, so I'm just saying, everything that glitter ain't gold on that internet, man. For real. Everything that glitter ain't gold. Always be independent, make your own money, you can make your own decisions. That's right. Work hard for it. Don't let nobody give you nothing, because nothing comes free. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right, I believe this is our last uh -oh. talented person of the night stepping onto the stage. But first of all, I want you to give a round of applause for everyone who's come up here. Everyone has been very talented. Say yourself. And with that said, Shay, come on up to the stage. Shay. Oh, Shay. Shay, baby. I'm sorry, Shay, baby. Shay, baby. Shay, baby. I'm sorry. Shay, baby. Now, Shay. Uh, Hi, everyone. Can y'all all stand up for me? Stand up. <laughs> I want some of y'all to come up to the stage. Come to the stage. Now, Shay, baby. Hey, look, hold the mic like this uh, so it don't be on. Oh, this, not like that. Like, there, like, don't cover it up. Okay? Oh. So it don't sound muffled. That's what I'm going to Okay, like sound. this. All right. My name is Shay Bay. I am 15 years old. Just to be safe, I wanted to allow everybody to know that I will be doing cartwheels. And yes, I have shorts on just in case if I cartwheel. I don't want people to ask me, are you wearing shorts? Yes. I am 15 years old. I have five, no, four songs out. I have my two backup dancers. I want y'all to give applause for them. Thank you. And I want to know, is everybody ready? Yes! Before I start performing, can y'all do me a little favor? Yes! I say shake, you say bait. Shake! Shake! Shake!
Cause I'm about to turn it up So everybody please get up Oh They say me go shake that
So, first place, first place will be going to Kansas City, June 16th to the 4th, and my all live smoke and tire show is the greatest show on earth, bringing youth and the police together so we can have some kind of unity in the community. So, first place, goes to first place winner goes to Shave <laughs>
Good job, there's a tape and everything. Good job, good job, yeah. And if y'all really want to show us the support and love, buy a t-shirt. $20. $20. If you ain't got $20, I got $100. That I will buy five t shirts, but I'm buying buy one too, so I got four t shirts I will donate to anybody who has $20. Can I do my song? Since you mean, because me, I got a song, I can do like a Coco. And since, you know what I mean? And everybody can just clap with me, man. You know what I mean? And all you guys. Yeah, we alright, guys. It's over with. Uh, 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 u